Good morning everyone, good morning class. This is your Sir Bits at your service and welcome to Bits Academy. Hello class, last time we discussed the scalar and vector quantities. Ngayon, busisahin pa natin lalo yung vector quantity. Alamin natin yung tinatawag na resultant vector at pag-aaralan natin yung isang method which is yung graphical method ng paghanap noong resultant vector. Ano nga ba yung tinatawag nating resultant vector? When two or more vectors are represented by a single vector, that is what we call the resultant vector. Tandaan nyo, two or more vectors. Isipin nyo na lang yung ginawa nating example last time. Kay Gatot ka ka, meron siyang dalawang vector. Yung papuntang north at papuntang west. Tapos, na-represent siya in a single vector. Yung hinahanap natin that time is the displacement. So, katumbas nun, yun yung resultant vector. Okay? So, kahit gano'n pa karami yan, basta two or more. So, kung tatlo man yan, apat man yan, and so on. Now, there are different ways to determine the resultant vector. Last time we did, gumamit tayo ng Pythagorean Theorem. Kasi nakabuo siya ng right angle, nakabuo tayo ng right triangle, so pwede natin gamitin yung Pythagorean Theorem. And Pythagorean Theorem is under the analytical method. This time, pag-aaralan natin yung tinatawag na graphical method. Sa graphical method, hindi tayo magko-compute dito. Ito drawing lang natin yung mga vectors na given, then nakadepende yung pagkuha natin ng resultant vector dun sa accuracy ng mga instrument na gagamitin natin like the ruler and the protractor. And doon sa precision, noong paglalagyan natin. For me, gagamit ako ng graphing paper para mas precise yung pagdating sa x and y's. Eh sir, paano kapag malalaki ang given? Like for example, in kilometers, paano natin yung pagkakasahin sa papel? So, I-scale natin siya into a smaller unit na magkakasya doon sa papel. So, kunwari, yung 1 km, pwede natin gawing 1 cm pagdating doon sa papel. So, now, alamin natin yung step-by-step -step process ng paggamit ng graphical method sa pagkuha ng resultant vector. First step, alamin muna natin yung appropriate scale na gagamitin natin para doon sa mga given na vectors. Like, for example, yung sinabi ko kanina, yung kilometer, pwede natin gawing centimeter para magkasya siya doon sa papel natin. Pangalawa, simulan natin yung pagguhit doon sa first vector natin doon sa origin ng ating coordinate system. Pangatlo, mula doon sa head noong ating first vector, doon naman natin sisimulan yung at pagguhit doon sa ating second vector. Pangapat, tuloy-tuloy lang yon, Gawin lang natin yung head-to-tail fashion. Gawin lang natin in series connection yung ating mga vectors hanggang makompleto natin lahat ng vector na given. Panglima, mula doon sa tail ng ating first vector, doon naman, gagawa naman tayo ng panibagong vector papunta doon sa head ng huling vector. And lastly, yung nagawa nating huling vector, yung from tail ng ating first vector hanggang doon sa head ng ating last vector, yun ang tatawagin nating resultant vector. Okay, ito na yung example natin ngayon. Tigril has always spent most of his time roaming in the jungle. From the base, he walks 15 meters north. Then, 5 meters east. Then, moves 7 meters north. Then, 8 meters at 38 degrees north of east. And finally, he turned 11 meters northwest. Find the displacement of Tigril from base using the graphical method. So ngayon, gamitin na natin yung graphical method para makuha natin yung resultant vector. So gagamit tayo ng ruler, graphing paper, at saka ng protractor. Okay. So nga pala, sa paggawa ng graphical method, kailangan maging maingat tayo. Kasi doon nakasalalay, kung gusto nating mas accurate yung makuha nating sagot, dapat mas maingat tayo doon sa mga pagguhit. Hanggat maaari, walang masyadong lalagpas. Though, yun yung parang pinaka-negative side ng graphical method, medyo prone siya sa mga errors like personal and instrumental errors. Unahin natin doon sa ating first step, which is aalamin natin kung ano yung appropriate scale para dito sa ating mga given na vectors. Dahil ang given ay mga in meter na medyo 5 to 13, uh, pwede natin gawin na yung 0.5 centimeter ay 1 meter. So, scale natin. One meter is two point five centimeter. Okay. So next step, draw the first vector starting from the origin ng coordinate system natin. So drawing tayo ng coordinate system. So bababaan ko na kasi napansin ko sa problem puro siya pa north, akyat. So upisan natin sa baba. 
dito yung ating coordinate system. So, from origin, which is dun sa problem natin, is from base, dun nagsimula si Thai Grill. So, base, yung ating origin. Then, yung kanyang unang vector, 15 meters north. So, dahil 0.5 cm yung scale natin for meter, yung 15 meter ay magiging 7.5. Okay? 7.5 cm. Ito siya. Okay. Next ay 5 meters east. Si 5 meters east, katumbas niya dito sa ating scale ay 2.5 cm. 2.5 cm. So, ito lang siya. Okay. Alam na natin yung mga direksyon na Na-discuss ko na yun nung, nung nakaraang video Then next 7 meters north So si 7 meters north Ay 3.5 centimeter Ang apat na vector We have 8 meters 38 degrees north of east So north of east 38 degrees so, alamin muna natin nasaan yun. So, meron tayo nitong coordinate system. So, alamin natin yung 38 degrees. Okay. 38, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ito. Yan. And then, dahil 8 meters, katumbas niya dito sa ating uh, scale, siya ay 4 centimeter. Okay, tapat natin doon sa 1, 2, 3, 4 4 cm Ayan, dapat maingat tayo then dito na yung ating bagong and lastly the final vector is 11 meters northwest so Pag northwest, ibig sabihin nasa gitna siya ng north at west, katumbas nun ay in 45 degrees. So, alamin natin dito yung 45 degrees. So, 45. Okay, okay dahil siya ay 11 meters, katumbas niya ay 5.5 centimeter. centimeter. Sa so, natin. Yon. So, dito siya. Okay? So, nakuha na natin, ay drawing na natin yung lahat ng vector. Ano ang next step? Draw a new vector connecting the tail of the first vector up to the last the head of the last vector. So, yun na yung magiging ating resultant vector. So, drawing tayo dito mula sa base pataas. Okay. Ito na yung ating new vector. Then, susukatin na natin yun ngayon para malaman yung ating sukat for the resultant vector. Okay. Meron tayong 17.6 centimeter. 17.6 centimeter yung nakuha natin para sa ating resultant vector. Ngayon, itutumbas natin yun ngayon dun sa ating uh, scale. Ita times 2 lang natin yung 17.6. So, times 2 ng 17.6, we have so 7 plus 7, 14, 15, 35.2 meters. Okay? 35.2 meters. And para naman, doon sa kanyang resultant angle, gamit ang ating protractor. So, kunin natin ilan ang kanyang angle. Magsimula tayo dito sa 0. Tapuntang 84. So, siya ay 84 degrees north of east. Okay? 35.2 meters 84 degrees north of east. Pag dito naman tayo magsisimula sa 
Sa north, papuntang east, we have 35.2 meters, 6 degree east of north. So, same lang yan. So, kahit ano dyan, accepted. Okay? So, nakuha na natin ngayon yung ating resultant vector gamit yung ating graphical method. And that's it! I hope by now alam nyo na kung paano gamitin yung graphical method to determine the resultant vector. Next time, pag-aaralan naman natin yung analytical method to determine the resultant vector. Especially yung component method. And once again, this is your service at your service, class dismissed.